first game from this so much King of the Desert 5 and Civilizations Vietnam and Malians MBL as a green Vincenter as a purple and I, I'm gonna keep these colors you know I'm gonna keep these colors or I put MBL as a yellow maybe it's a better color and let's see how it's gonna be the map we have one two three five carpets the map is quite open in front, but at the back he has very nice wood. Goal at the back, very safe as well. Okay. And what is the change from these civilizations? Do they have big change? Vietnam and Malians? Do we have big change or not? Because I, I don't know. Okay. And this one, berries at the back, two woodlands, another woodland here. It's a fine map, you know? It's a fine Arabian map. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of generations. This edition is going to be open, but it's going to be less extreme than King of the Desert 4. You know, it's a much more, I don't know if safe balance, you know, a little bit more traditional, let's say, you know. So we listen to feedback, you know. Malian's got bonus. Yeah, they have changed the, the bonus. But other than that, that's it, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, it's KOTD5 script, you know. And other than that, Mm. Vietnam has something new? Not really, right? Oh, the Gebetos. The Gebetos are, are, are now stronger. The, the unique units, yes. They are stronger. And Vietnam? Don't think, right? Oh, look at this wood at the back. Okay. Well, it's very open in front. But the other side is safe. So, let's see. It's a lot about the... Uh, the gameplay that they are going to play. The goal is in front. Berries are on the right side. Stone at the back. The other two goals is exposed. So it feels pretty firm up for both players. The goal is forward, but it's not too forward. You know, and you, you can make the buildings here. And then he has one goal at the back. A little bit better map for MBL. Right? Safer. Safer area here. Oh, yeah. The paper money is, is a little bit better now for, for Vietnam. So we, we have... Two classic civilizations, let's say, with not big difference here. But do the Malians get gamstones? The new tech? Because if they get the new tech when they also get the extra pierce armor, the infantry for Malians can be insane. So they don't get. They cannot get it. Because if they do, how you kill them, man? You don't need archers. You need I mean I mean you need something huge. It will be insane civilization, right? Absolutely. Anyway, let's see. We have now Purple that is exploring his opponent. And I want to ask you something. Don't you like to see the KOTD5 logo over MBL nickname? I get hyped, man. I have put it because it's a so much, but it has to be there. And uh, I'm hyped, guys. I'm hyped. Let's go. This is the first game. Remember, best of seven, $250 on the line but the most important to see if this is working good the new patch and remember that they have both players they have two civilizations the same guys less than three you member let's go kotd5 nice they have both lithuanians and mayans both players got lithuanians and mayans okay which is something completely different. This never happened before in any King of the Desert edition. No, at all, you know? Okay, let's see now. Scout to militias, you have to be careful. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, this one is better for MBL. Good micro. Well, remember that MBL has been grinding a lot. And when he's streaming, the title on his stream is all the time KOTV5 grinding. You know? So, that's a good way to promote the tournament. Not gonna lie. It's the one that is promoting the most. Because if you have KOTV5 in your title all the time, you are promoting the tournament, right? So, that's great. And when I saw that, I was like... I mean, let's let's pick MBL for so much, right, guys? Let's pick MBL for so much, you know? Supporting the event, 
we go for M with MBL and then, hey, MBL, do you, do you want to play the soul match? Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, well, why not? Supportive people, supportive streamers, supportive everyone. MBL, now, is not up. Typical MBL. Going with the two Melissa is going to be a slower. It's going to try to be annoying. And Vinci stays here with two Lumber Camps. He has what? Five Elis on Wood. Two on goal in front. And now he's going to try to get it there. The Fog of War is going to find the wood line. So he has to be careful. And the scout. This is a sloppy. And now he needs to wall. Is he going to wall? Well, one is very low HP. He's going to try to be annoying. It shouldn't be a problem. And also this... This village with the uh, boxing globes is it's fine. It's completely fine. Okay. And now Winchester is going to do what? He's doing already farms, but he has two on gold. He's going to go arches. He's going to go arches. It's going to be a standard for sure. Has to be careful. Nine village on wood. Would you like to see some mirror? Honestly? I don't like to see mirror in ladder games, but for so much as on tournament, if if, my, if they're gonna have Mayans versus Mayans, I, I would I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't mind. You know, full mirror, I will hate it. But one two games mirror, I wouldn't mind. Oh my God! Your YouTube content and you're a boss. You could call sporting events with best of them. Oh my God! Thank you for your message and thank you for the bits. I usually always hate on Xbox, and now I cannot hate Xbox. Ah, okay. I love Xbox, too. I'm such a liar, man. I'm such a liar. You know what? No games for you, but there's one problem. I don't care what you think. Huh? Huh? Anyway, let's see now the archery range. Three farmers. Let's see the berries. And what is going to be? Okay. Dolby task horse collar. Well, this is very good. With Vietnam, remember, you don't use any wood with any upgrade. With any, any upgrade. Okay. Oh, nice house. Well, remember, guys, that if you are joining, we have changed the draft system because I think it's, it's a good balance for trying to make that the higher seat don't have always the huge advantage. And how we make this work? Well, if the bam are hidden, you can ban whatever you think is uh, needed. That shouldn't make a big change, but we have four bans per player, you know? But then if you pick the first two civilizations, the ones that you consider they are the strongest, um, being higher seat, it has, I mean, it's important, but less, you know, because at least the lower seat can also pick for himself or his opinion, the best civilizations for for him, you know? Maybe he's gonna be right or, or not, but it's his choice, you know? He, the players cannot complain like, hey, I cannot pick what I want, you know? Anyway, as you can see, MBL is walling absolutely everything. So the map is very open, but they wall completely. He's coming with few archers, but look at the Winchester economy. Look at the Winchester echo. Oh boy. This, this economy, man. What the hell? You can see that the meta has changed and we're going to use the, the so matches that if we don't see a lot of aggression, we bring back KOTD4 map. Remember, KOTD4 map, full elevation, big craters, super open, total destruction. We bring back the map, I'm telling you. We bring it back. If I see so many walls, we change the map right away. <laughs> yeah, man, of course. Of course. Let's see now. Well, the players, some players like it, some others didn't too much. To be honest, I think it's, it's less about the map. It's more about that the players, they play less and less aggressive every day. Not everyone, you know, but... MBL ha was more aggressive back in the days. Well, he was lamer boy. He was going even forward sometimes. And you can see now, he's playing a lot more standard. He's fully walled completely. And, uh, yeah, staying at home. Winchester cannot really attack because he was trying to go, but his opponent was fully walled. So now we see how Winchester is walled as well. Because he's going up. He's crazy, man. But seriously, how you can be that fast up? 
Sometimes I don't know how to explain this. I don't know if it's the civilization, if he, you did more farms. It's true that, remember, Winchester went up faster. He didn't make, uh, well, did the militias, but Winchester just got, got up faster. But other than that, he's doing exactly the same than MBL. Yeah, 12 on wood, 15 on foot. Uh oh. Winchester. What happened, man? I thought that he dropped it, but guys, he is on the way to Castle Age. On the way to Castle Age. The truth is that he's not fully walled yet. Yeah, double is stable now. So he's gonna go knights. As, as you know, they have buffed a lot the infantry. Well, a lot or a little? Will you say a lot or a little? Well, they have moved the infantry with this new patch, but these two civilizations are not the, the, the civilization that has been buffed, right? Yeah, they, they are pretty... They got pretty much nothing. Not really important. Just the goal last longer and, and that's it. Okay, let's see. Well, it lasts longer how it is now. I forgot. They did a change in the goal, but... And we have debate already, but I forgot, man. I'm, I'm too old, man. Okay, he's gonna be inside now. Skill by the armor. MBL is up too, but he's gonna make now a market. He should do something. He should do a market. You don't want to let him go in. He's doing the market, man. Spect it. Spect it, market. The market is always good to have. He's doing double archer range. There's not a lot of farming. He's here now with the archers. And now, Pinchester is gonna be in a problem. Not really. He's gonna go knights. And the knights will save him. He's getting inside, but those are four archers for skirmishers. Just move those units here. And with the archers, sorry, with the knights, he should be able to do the job. He's going to make some houses or not? What is he doing? Nothing. The knights are coming, but he's going to lose a villager. And maybe two, actually. Typical Winchester, guys. Zero reaction. Going to move that villain now. Two villains down. Now the knights are coming. He's going to lose even three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's not warning. He's losing three villains already. Four villains already. I'm not going to invite him to us so much anymore, guys. <laughs> he lost four villains already. He's here with the crossbows. And now, what is he going to do here? Okay. Are they playing on the on the PUP? Why Titanic, Emma? Why Titanic? Titanic because they are trying the new patch? Yeah, he just needed some houses. Plus four villages. Okay. Yeah. Well, but it's still with the same villages almost. Because he has the two tone centers. While MBL is still with one TC. Coming now with the least skirmishes and archers as well. Has to be careful. The knights are coming. The problem is how do you stop this now? Are you gonna make the market or not? He said, no, now he's doing exactly what Winchester needed to do. What is crazy is how with four villains kill, Winchester is still ahead, man. Okay, this is overconfident, I would say. But if the knights are going in, he's gonna be able to do the job or not. Well, he has no bloodlines. He's going back now. A lot of skirmishes here. Need to go back. He's coming with the siege workshop. Okay. Aggression by Winchester. MBL has the stone. He's gonna make another TC. He has to. At some point, and where he's gonna make it? No, he's doing university. Oh, remember, guys, that also the university upgrades. No, that's for Malians, it's faster. And uh, Vietnam, nothing, not any advantage from, from those. And he has no wood. I don't like the university choice, to be honest. I mean, if he had the resources, yes, but he doesn't. And now he's kind of invested a lot. Well. This is what we wanted. Aggression. Now a lot more aggression in Castle Age. He's coming with the knights. How many? So many knights and crossbows together. He's gonna be careful or not? You have to be careful. I think he needs a couple of monks. Obviously, he cannot do the, everything because now he needs the university and want to make the, the ballistic. All right. He's taking one. He's taking two. The crows will take the knights. He's coming with a lot more knights behind, but he splitted them. Ballistic gonna help a lot. Really, really a lot. At home, Palisade Gate. He's still on one tone center. Obviously, he has so much army. And now, 
Let's see the micro. Let's see the micro. Well, if he micro properly, he's gonna kill a lot. Those knights don't have bloodlines, so he should kill. He's gonna kill those. He's killing a lot. Wow, he's doing a great job, MBL. He's killing all the knights, and now he's gonna kill all the crows. That's a good micro. Absolutely beast. Now with ballistic 10 seconds. 10 seconds. He's killing all the arches. This is good for MBL or not, guys? I think it is. I think it really is. He killed all the crossbows, basically. And look at the MBL army. MBL army. 23 army. Only two villages behind with one TC. Doing now the second tone center. Doing a great job. Doing now all the economy upgrades. And MBL is coming. Okay. It's going to be inside. And how do you stop this army now? If you don't have siege? It's going to mine a stone? What the hell? Not reacting. Now he's going to move. Doing the siege workshop now. He's coming with the knights. He will have to make to micro and he will kill them. All the knights are going to go down. One. Two. Ooh, ballistic, man. Okay, he's dodging those. He's going to take another or not? One down. And here? Yes. TC at the back. One, two tone center. Okay. Going to take another. I think he's he micros. Now he's microing perfectly fine. He's microing against those that has less arches. Gonna kill few villages. I like this a lot. Vinci is still four villages ahead, but NBA has killed seven villages already to Vinci. Seven villages already. He's gonna take another. He. Oh, he didn't take that one. What? Three microns here. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't notice it this. Well, I was so focused in front and three mangoes lonely. He might if he got a couple of knights. That's why he's doing this table now. Second TC. Four villages behind only. Three mangoes. Monastery in front of, of the hill. Okay. Ooh. But he's still coming with more archers. And? He's gonna dive in. Yeah. Sneaky. Look. Oh my god. Winchester. Great reaction by Winchester. One down. How many? Oh my god. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep losing more. Twelve. Bill is already down by Winchester. He is still ahead in with the in Billy's number, which is crazy. It's really crazy. Now he's gonna go with the siege. Two scorpions, but this is with ballistic. So he has to be careful. It's still going aggressive. Both are attacking each other. Four Magonas. He took another Siege War shot, but at the same time attacking. Both attacking each other, counter attack. It's true that in Feudal he has been passive, but in Castellage, non stop. Both attacking each other. Vichita killing army. NBL killing villages. In theory, it should be better what NBL is doing. In reality, it's true, because he has four villages more now, but the problem is that he has now four Magonas attacking. He got the knights, he got some monks. How are you gonna be able to kill this? He's gonna try to kill the knights. Yes. Those knights, bye bye. You have ballistic help a lot, but Siege War Shop is coming. Remember, who is one of the best players with the Mangonels? MBL. But to make very good with the Mangonels, you need Mangonels. You know? Ooh. Okay, well, it's taking one. It's something. Need to make more. The Krabbers were a little bit out of position. You need to repair that tone center. MBL more population than his opponent. He's still here with the arches, taking another village. He's already 14 villages. That's crazy. I mean, this is really crazy. He's coming now with the crossbows. You gotta be careful here. Four mangles. The crossbows are coming and going back now. Oh man, he's doing a good micro here, MBL. Taking one mangle. He's gonna he's gonna take another. And now this is so important behind. From behind, like a beep. Well, one for one. But he's gonna take a no. He's taking all. He's taking all the mangonels. This is a good shot by Winchester, but he lost a lot here, Winchester. Yeah, he lost three mangonels, and that's a problem. At home, we're still four tone centers, a lot of farming. He still have the scorpions. And now, MBL soon make probably knights. Winchester is still getting the initiative the whole game. He's attacking all the time, but still, he lost 14 villages. How oh, he's that close? Well, he got four tone centers. NBL Light LTC is also very solid, only two minutes. But he has two tone centers only. 
So that's why he's not like super ahead with the economy. Only two TCs. All right. He has the heal advantage now, and he's going to be a difficult to stop this. All right. Okay, he's going back now, and... This Lambrican? Yeah, you need to make another Lambrican. Mining now a lot of a stone. Bloodlines, finally. He needs more upgrades. He has will borrow all the upgrades for MBL. The economy is definitely good. But he's starting to get the relics. It's crazy how, guys, after being lost 14 villages, I still have the feeling that Winchester is ahead. What do you think, guys? I mean, having the map control is really important. The crops are coming now. He's taking some villages more. It's 15 villages already. Zero on goal. Okay. There's goal at the back. Gotta be careful there. One. He's doing the hand cart. Two tone centers. This is four TCs. Okay. And now the stable. How many Magonals? What the hell? Four Magonals more. He has done like eight Magonals already. That's crazy. That's really crazy. He's doing Barrack now. He's gonna go Pikes? Well, I don't know. And Biel has already Knights. He got good amount of Knights. Those are without upgrades. But... Let's see. He's still there with the crossbows. Being annoying. Doing a counter-attack. Winchester is coming forward with Veliz, but those crossbows are going to be so annoying. And you know what? MBL is playing as smart. It's really playing as smart here because with this amount of knights, it's going to clean everything. It's really going to clean everything because now he needs to send all the knights. These knights are going to attack the crossbow, so now you send the knights and you kill all the mangonels. It's time to go. Really, time to go. These knights are plus two. You might be able to clean. Yes, but if you clean now, the mangonels are coming. Yes, but the knights are going as well. And he's going. He has a monk. Doesn't matter. So many knights from MBL. Population almost the same. For both players. Four villains more only. The knights are coming. But he did a, a mistake. He could have killed the monk already. But now, all the mangoes are down. And that's a lot of resources. Really, really a lot of resources. As you can see, Winchester is going to come forward with a castle, probably. MBL... Has a stone to make a castle. I will do it here. You take the monastery, take the gold, defend the stone. Doing now another barrack. This is the 30 C. And which is the coming with more knights. It's gonna open. Not really. Here is the castle. It's a perfect one. He has a lot of farming MBL. And only five of behind. Winchester is doing a castle on this area. Oh uh, well. He's defending the siege workshop, but he cannot do in any other spot here. The castle. It's not gonna make it there. Here would be a perfect castle. I don't know where he's going. What? He want to go aggressive? Uh, okay. They spikes, knights, crossbows, mangonels, everything. Okay, he's gonna take now those two monks. One is gonna be down. He converted one of those knights, but this is a lot of farming for MBL. A lot of farming and cheap army. Still going forward. He's with the plus two attack, so those knights are gonna be plus two, plus two. Guys, one advantage for Winchester is... He's farming. 43 farmers. But MBL is going wild. Yes, he's going wild. Instead of doing here, he's going to make a castle on his face. But he's going to work or not. He's coming with those knights. But guys. Year equals 12 months. So two years already. Winchester. Guys, Winchester is playing incredible with those many villains. But he did knights plus two plus two. And with the knights are going to kill absolutely everything. The castle is down. I'm telling you, here's the perfect castle. You don't have the position. He's not reading the game properly. And now, 30 villains behind. He lost so many. And it's an incredible game. Winchester raiding with the knights. The mobility matters. And he should have secured his area. He didn't. And MBL is dead. And Winchester is going to take the first game. What the hell? What the damn hell? It's crazy. Because Winchester was losing so many villages in the start but with knights knights and more knights what the hell total domination and now look at the score gg guys gg winchester amazing play at the end or it was a 50 50 good play but nbl also took a very risky decision i think it was a very risky decision for sure you can see apm 1892 statistics military a lot of kills in the end. 24, 32 economy. It was 3k more. But in the last couple of minutes, also got a lot of resources. 
Yeah, the game was very close. These differences became just at the end when he killed everything. He got five town centers, guys. Game two for this so much, guys. You have the Incas, guys. You have the Incas. NBL Ethiopians. Winchester with Incas. Winchester with Incas. And what Incas have new, guys? Do we know? Obviously, we don't have yet the overlays because without the pass official, we can't. But you can you can say in the chat, amigos. You can say in the chat. But guys, the map, goal in front, quite open here. For example, those cliffs, I want to be removed. I want them removed. I will tell Crassini, remove them. I don't want cliffs. They are so close. For me, this has to disappear. Cliffs to the damn hell. I don't want them. You know, I mean, this one is okay, but this one is too close to the base. A tomar viento. <laughs> anyway, the map looks very balanced, to be honest, because you have two blue lines at the back, one in front, two blue lines at the back, one in front. Then the gold generation can be different, the stone, but the map seems to be, well, quite similar. Not mirror, but quite balanced, I would say. It's still open, you know, wallable sometimes. So let's see. Let's see. All right. B was in S, S, S what? What is that? What platform? I don't know what you mean. Anyway, let's see what the new Incas is going to bring. Let me, let me read the patch notes. Actually, for those people that are kind of nubios. Incas. Andean Sling now additional provides plus one damage to Slingers. Fix it an issue where Slinger is currently getting it, blah, 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 blah. Well, new bonus. Military cost minus 50, 20, 25, 30% foot in Dark Age, Feudal, Castle, and Imperial. List of affected units. Militia, Spearman, Eagle, Skirmisher, Slinger, Camayo, Genitor, Condottieri, Petters, and Shuttle Warrior in case that you are on team games. But they lose access to supplies. Well, made sense. Yeah. They'll need camera use increase it from 60 foot and 30 gold to 65 foot and 30 gold. So it's a little bit more expensive. El Slinger cost increase it from 30 to 40 gold. You know, 40 foot, 40 gold. Yeah, more foot, but they discount. You know, okay. I mean, they are stronger, but it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be huge. We will see. You know, we will see. And Ethiopians... I think Ethiopians only got a small differences for the outpost. What, what they got, Ethiopians knew. I'm not sure. Farman official, thank you for the raid. Awesome. Anyway, there's one goal that is very close to the TC. We have four villages on wood. Berries in front. And this goal in front is tricky, but you can protect with the wood line. It is okay. It is really okay. Okay. He's taking both rhinos quite fast, and now he's doing malicious. The thing is, are they... Oh. It's minus 15% even in Dark Age. So those militias are cheaper. Just look at the gold that you have still. He did two militias. He didn't make the loom. And he is still... Can, guys, he is still camped. Probably make another? No. Yeah, he can make another militia and make the loom also without my goal. That's pretty sick. The militia dress is much stronger now. Or not. Oh, no, no, he mined gold. He was mining gold. I'm an idiot. He was mining gold. He mined 10 gold. Forget. It's just only the food, guys. It's only the food, not the gold. Okay. He's the, doing the two militias. Okay. He's going around, he walked this area a little bit. And now he's walling the other part too. Seems that Vincent is playing, uh, well, more aggressive now this game. He's gonna try to take the house. Yeah, and that co will cost him, it will cost him the, uh, quite a lot of wood. Because just look how fast the, the houses are, are losing HP. Okay. I'm sad that they ban Chinese. You know why I'm sad, right? 
I wanted to see the Chinese, the new Chinese civilization, but guys, it makes sense ban Chinese? I believe so. I believe so, but well, maybe not, because you can pick two civilizations even if, yeah, the first two you can pick China, so you don't ban and you can pick it. I don't know. Anyway, he's coming back now with the militias. He's wall completely, okay, and he's gonna have now. He has no gold yet, but he will have. Enbil is doing his typical walls, guys. Typical Enbil walls. Not too greedy. Walling his base, basically. Gonna make another militia now. Both are going up almost the same time. And thanks to these cheaper two militias, you can see how how fast Vinci State is going. Just like 22 standard. Okay, four villages on gold now. And remember that now Ethiopians will get 100 extra food and gold. That's gonna give you instant mana time. Yeah, I mean, Ethiopia is still very solid. Like, really solid. The mana time is coming now. Okay. He has the resources to, to make the mana time for sure. He has a lot of food. A lot of food in the bank, man. What the hell is these resources? Okay, he's gonna make the mana time or not. He's not doing, he's doing double task scores, Connor. But he still do mana times. Okay. Yeah, Vincent is gonna lose here a lot. He's gonna lose a lot or not? Aye, 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 the mana times are coming. Ooh! Well, he can't fail. He's gonna make the palace and he's gonna try to protect the wood. Oh, this is good. This is really good. This is really good. Winchester defending really well. Okay. Is, is he KOTV 4 mode activated? I'm telling this because remember that during KOTV 4, he played really good. Really good. But he's walling everything, not losing now any single Valir and not too much time. And just all with one Valir. That's nice. He's doing the farms now. He has all the upgrades. Well, MBL don't have the, the horse color, but now he has the, the, the archer coming. Okay, he's going to go back. And that Valir, he should, be, he should be dead. Nah, he should save it. Or maybe not. Okay. No, he saved it, man. Oh my God, he's on point. Yeah, he's really on point. With this area now, I'm wondering if a tower would be good. Mm, I'm not sure, but maybe. He has the wood. Five villages on wood at the back. Okay, and... Yeah, those mana times now need the support or he's gonna waste them. Yeah, where's the blast bit? He's doing the blast bit already. Okay. Has to be careful. Fletching is absolutely needed here. Population is very close. And we just hope that they're gonna fight a lot more now in feudal age. I love the feudal aggression. Let's see now the micro. He has a three mana arms. Okay, Fletching, it's already coming. Fletching is already coming. And now here. Okay. Remember, guys, that even if they have made cheaper the eagles, can you make the numbers? Now the eagles cost 20 foot. No, 25 foot, 50 gold. With the discount they get, they are cheaper. Cheaper than before. I think they, 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 they might be cheaper, right? Okay. He's doing the fletching. Guys, how many seconds Winchester idle TC? How many seconds? Zero, man. Still zero seconds idle TC. What the hell? What the damn hell? Let's see the micro here. Yeah, I know that the Eagles are gonna be cheaper after Castle Age, but is in Castle Age the time that Matthew. Oh, remember Ethiopians? Faster, faster attacking. You have to be careful. That will is gonna be down. No, because he's taking that the damage from the TC. Oh, he got one now. Okay, he's being dangerous here. Good aggression here by MBL. He took one for a KD 4 4. Still no idle TC, but. Is they still ahead of Belir? Because of the idle tone center, it's crazy. Well, it's not a village, you know, but a few seconds. Yeah, he forced him to make skirmishes. And now this hill. That's why I was wondering if a tower was going to be good. I think it is, but now this is very good. He's gonna take all the archers. He's coming with one archer trying to kill the Menatarm. The Menatarm is also kinda idling. And Winchester now is 
cleaning absolutely everything. I wouldn't be surprised that the stable can happen. Ooh, no horse collar, man. Aye, aye, aye. No horse collar, amigo. That's a problem. Can be a problem for sure. Another two militias? Oh my god. What was that? He took it right away? Both? Okay. Look at them. Look at the numbers now. Three army, seven army. But, okay. Okay, resources to go up. Yes. But now? Here what? He's gonna make a market. Or what? He's doing a stable. And a stable might be needed because if... If each is gonna come now with eagles in Castleage, this can be a problem. Anyway, MBL has good economy. And with the skirmishes, you he know that he's not gonna suffer. This is open because he overchopped. But he's still doing more arches. He's gonna make a couple of scouts. The problem with the scouts? Well, you delay yourself to go up. Pretty much. But at some point, it's needed. And now, another archer range. And another one. Okay? What? This is annoying, man. Really annoying. Yeah, but resources for MBL looking solid. Very, very solid. <laughs> He's gonna kill the militia? He will. And now the, now the lion? The lion king, man. So on the way to Castleage, well, Winchester, if he did the market, it would be great, man. It would be up, but he's not doing. And it's gonna take a while then to go up. He has 500 foot. If he's not balancing, he's gonna take a while. And that's gonna be deadly. Gonna be really deadly. We'll see. Well, you know what? When you when you are checking a new patch, I mean, if it's not the definitive, and you see, at least for now, that it's not doing a huge impact. I mean, it's kind of good, you know, because you don't want that it make a huge impact. It make a huge impact, and now Incas is super powerful. Then they might have to balance again. You know, the idea is to make them competitive, but without being broken. But let's see. A few arches and skirmishes. You have to be careful. The arches will take the, the scout. Uh, maybe. Yes, they will. Got it. And now he still have the skirmishes there. Use it. In front. He is, man. And they are not killing it. Now he, they did. He's going back. Yeah. And he's going to do what? Archers. No eagles. So... They make them cheaper, and he's still not going eagles? What the hell? Well, maybe he doesn't feel confident yet against the Ethiopian's archers. Also, he's gonna be in castles in 15 seconds. This is the second archery range, and no cavalry, probably. Yeah, and now look, another 100 extra foot and gold. That's sick. Yeah, he can he can make now the upgrades. He can make the upgrades, absolutely. Crossbow and Botkin arrow. But Finchester has the resources as well, so he will make them too. That's why he's trying to push back, because he knows like, hey, I have 30 seconds, 25, 30 seconds to attack Steve Kidd getting the upgrade, so let's do it. And this is exactly what he's doing. Oh God, he's gonna take a good battle. This is an amazing battle by Winchester. Oh my God, this is, this is good actually. He lost now those, but he took three archers with those. And that makes less numbers, but now guys, Winchester, He's in a problem. He has good resources, yes, but he has no army. He's doing the arches now, but... Uh-oh. And this is open, guys. This is open. Over chop. Over chop. Over chop. Over chop. Winchester going back. The tower is there. He's not going because the tower is there. Okay. They lead the house. He's doing all the market. And what is he going to do now? Crossbow, Arbrid, and Botkin. But what? It's open? Oh. oh, okay. He's doing ballistic, ballistic right away. Usually you want ballistic when you have the numbers, but he does have the numbers right now. MBL has the advantage, double the army. Bill is almost the same, but ballistic helps a lot. Whoa, okay. This is the MBL we want to see in the previous game. He wasn't aggressive at all. Winchester didn't let him. Now, one, two tone center. The siege wall shop is here. He's gonna go now with the mangonel? Probably he will. Of course he will. And Winchester need to see it. He can see it. Oh, he did it. No problem. But ballistic is gonna be there in a second. And that helps a lot. Let's see the micro. Yeah, every shot is gonna be almost one archer, right? Yeah, man, that's the difference, man. I mean, he's trying to micro, but having ballistic is huge. But he's doing great, MBL. He's doing great, but he can't anymore. And now, 
He's gonna push it back completely. So this Mangonel is not gonna be great anymore. What he need now, Winchester, is just to make an eagle. He's doing a great micro, actually. Yeah, but the Mangonel is already there. And now the archers are in the damn hell. Good micro by Winchester. He's dancing with the archers. He's literally dancing. And now that Mangonel is gonna be bye-bye. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, no. He's microing good. Very, very nice play by Vinch. Yes. Very nice one. And now Eagle Warrior, Scale Mail Armor. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Triple Barrack. So, what MBL should do now? It's still only archers. It's gonna be a problem now. He has to go back. He still have no ballistic. Oof. It's difficult, man. It's very difficult now. It is very difficult. I like a lot what he's doing here. For now, he doesn't have any eagle on this barracks, so Green doesn't see yet any eagle. Is he is doing on purpose? Actually, it is. Eagles are at the back, not with this one. He's not doing eagles with the forward barrack. I like that. I don't know if it's on purpose. It is on purpose. Because he has production in both, but not in front. Okay. Jamie Larmo is going back with the crossbows, three mangoras, and crossbows as well here. So he's gonna try to attack. Interesting. MBL with a better boom. Better boom for MBL. Army better? I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not so sure anymore. Yeah, I think MBL might be scared that he's coming. Okay, he's gonna mine his stone now. And this is plus two Eagles already. He take the archer range. Uh-oh. That's the thing. He, ooh, the eagles are coming now. Aye, aye, aye. He's trying to micro. He's usually really great with the micro, but... It's eagles plus two. And that's a real problem. He has to kill those. If he kill all the mangonels, it's a disaster, man. And he will. He will kill it. With only one eagle with very low HP. Yeah, but that's a problem. That's why I don't understand. Like... Y you have to be aware that he's gonna come probably with those. Why not do a few knights? I don't know. It's still going archers, but now with only archers, it's gonna be impossible for MBL. Finchester is gonna dominate. He has ballistic, he has eagles. So he has archers, eagles. He has archers only and no ballistic. He has the university, but this is a big problem. Yeah. With only four eagles, it was very smart. Imagine if he got a couple of knights, you know, and he got the stable. I don't know. For now, game one, decisions, Winchester. Game two, decisions, also Winchester. Let's see. Remember that Winchester is behind the village? Yes, but he has Will Barrow. Yes, he does. And now Heavy Blow too. So he's okay. And the amount of army he's starting to do, it's scary. It's quite scary. Let's see. Green now, ball ballistic. No knights anymore. And what is MBL going to do? Mining camp here. Not moving forward. Okay. He lost the siege war shop. Still going with the crossbows. And well, he has no autobos. By the way, uh, I think. They removed the cost of the stone for the outposts for Ethiopians. And the outposts for Ethiopians, you can see everything pretty much. So, or it wasn't that. What it was that you can see everything. But man, make outposts with them. Because, look at this. He's coming, man. One bullet down. Two bullets down. Three bullets down. Aye, aye, aye. MBL, do not notice. He's attacking in that spot, and MBL do not notice. The multitasking amigo, aye, aye, aye. And all the villains down. And ladies and gentlemen, Winchester in the first two games is in a domination mode. I mean, population is almost the same. But, well, I mean, these crumbles now are better. He can make now the unique units that they have changed also the unique units. But guys, check Winchester economy. What is the what is going on? Two tone says it's gonna make the third now. And guys, he's on the way to Imperial Age, man. On the way to Imperial Age. The shooters will eat. The shooters will eat the eagles. Yes. 
But if he's doing archers, oh boy, he's doing shooters now. Let's see. Let's see if the shooter is going to eat those. We still didn't see yet the new upgrade being uh, used. Hopefully we will, you know, to see how strong they can be. With the gamstone. It's like that. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, look at those eagles. He's coming now. He's going to try to take those. It's so many, but he got so many crossbows. Coming with some shooter warriors. So the, do they have upgrades? No. The shooters really eat the eagles. Look, without any upgrade, three hits and he killed them. Now, the shooters are there. Going to help a lot. How many he got? Not so many. But they really do help. Yeah, because also, it's true that the eagles also eat the shooters. That's the thing. They eat each other, man. Like, seriously. NBL is still with more population. But I really believe that when NBL notice that Winchester is in Imperial, it's gonna fall in depression. Like, seriously. It's really gonna fall in depression. My goodness. And now the eagles are cheaper, right? Oh, boy. Per archery range, he's gonna have a stone for a castle. Remember that now they they also have a buff the uh, the attack for the slingers, and he's doing the slingers. All right, no, no, okay. Obviously, you need the upgrades, but this is gonna be a castle on top of that hill. So many eagles, he need to go back. The eagles are very strong, really, really strong. He's committing. Vincent is in Imperial, guys. Well, NBL is not even close to go up. Like, what is NBL going to be thinking? Like, his 8 is more, and his opponent is Imperial. He's 10 population more. Agreed. Okay, but... What the hell? He has more army and more villages, actually. He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job, man. I mean, he's not an Imperial. He has to be careful. Don't lose a lot. And the biggest issue here is that how MBL is going to reach Imperial, guys. If he's doing now traps and just mass army here, he should be fine. He should try to attack. This is a pause, guys. This is a pause. They can keep going. But he should raid, probably. Because if he's not raiding... Oof. Yeah, he might. In, in this situation, he might feel okay. Like, he knows that Vincent is up, but he does have a lot of farming. He does have like 40 eagles and he's gonna dominate. He has a trap here that is gonna be annoying. He's gonna take the tone center. And he's still attacking. He still have double the army. He's microing really well this. The, sh the shooter warriors are helping a lot against the eagles. And, uh, well, he got the plus three. He's trying to go slingers. Okay. Obviously, the slingers still have... Still miss a lot of upgrades. Between now chemistry. Conscription. Gonna make a trebuchet. There's no military, man. No military, man. Aye, aye, aye. Archers and shooters coming. Population, better for MBL, man. Better for MBL. And keep attacking. He's starting to get some good resources. MBL is playing really well this. Like, really, really well. He's not letting him. He's really not letting Vincent now to do anything. The score still say that Vincent is really ahead, but where's the army? I don't have... I don't see the army. So, the score is fake? Kinda. Kinda fake, actually. 26 army, 8 army. The score is still there, but... Winchester is trying to mass those slingers, but I don't know. It's a mistake going now for the slingers or what? Or he wanna try them? I have no clue. We'll see. Gonna lose a trebuchet. He's coming with more slingers here. Okay, let me close. He's gonna repair. Yes, he will. He will repair forever. Okay, I know that you see on the left. I like it. 
going around. But guys, he's not letting Winchester to, to mass. But guys, Winchester is doing now the plus four. Starting to do Igus again. Also RT ranges. Remember that he went up to Imperial, but without the greatest economy. And that's why now MBL is, is doing the job. But guys, he's doing hand card forging. Still not going up. Still not going up to Imperial. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, the Igus with the plus four might be strong. Also, eight slingers. If he put all together, but guys, MPL is about to go up to Imp. He's playing amazing, actually. Yeah, well, the plus four now is gonna clean everything. But he's up. He's up to Imperial. And then the question is clear. Ooh, great castle. He's gonna make another here. Okay. In Imperial, what civilization we prefer? MPL is still with more population. Then Winchester, 123 villiers. This castle is gonna be up. Oh my god. Those shooters killed really fast. Remember? No, 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 but he will make it. He will make it. He's losing some, but he will. Uh oh. Yeah, well, with the castle, he's defending. He's defending properly. He's Imperial now. So, MBL has time to hold. This is the real question here. He has time to hold. Did he make the upgrade? No, he doesn't have time to hold. It's crazy, guys. It's crazy how MBL has been trying to hold for so long. But Winchester, with a crazy macro, with a crazy macro, well, because he has no army, man. Those resources are not what he has. When you resign and you are on the way to Imperial, it's give you back all the resources. You know? But Winchester looks really for King of the Desert, guys, for now. Okay. Let's see. It's 2-0 for Winchester. And military? Winchester killed more. 40 units more. A lot of units. This game has been very good. Resources the same. But he was Imperial super fast. The same resources. But this is where you need to, to control this properly and try to go up to Imperial faster. Or push faster, but push against the Eagles is difficult, man. It's difficult. Guys, game number three. And here we, we have, guys, NBL with the Mayans, Winchester with Portuguese, and no mirror, guys. No mirror, guys. Okay. We have now MBL as a blue, but I'm gonna change because blue and purple, you guys don't like it. So I'm gonna keep the green color for MBL. You know, so we have the same color all the time. Leary style. Okay, Portuguese. Well, in this map, we are not gonna see the big change they did, or maybe we can. You know, maybe they can. Okay, the new organ guns, we will see. Other than that, Portuguese is still sick. We'll see. And the Mayans, well, they are supposed to be nerf with the Eagles being more expensive. We will see. And remember, people was afraid. Well, honestly, I don't care if there's one or two games mirror, but it's difficult, right, guys? Because I mean, if you have Mayans and Lithuanians, you have to pick them exactly in the same game. And right now, NBL has the Mayans, but Winchester also have the Mayans to use in other game. All right. This is some of the biggest difference from Kingdom Desert this year. What, is, what this also brings? It brings that the higher seat, it still have the advantage, but less. Because you can still, you know? Are they playing the new update? Do you guys check the title? Anyone check the title? I don't even know why I bother to type in the title. My goodness. Why I even bother to type in the title, man? Also, you see the P message, pie. right? Anyway, coming with the Rhino. I think some of the viewers just, was, just want attention. It, it's fine, guys. It's fine. It's okay. It is okay. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Any, anyway. And now the question here for you guys, for the viewers. And we can analyze the map. Yeah. By the way, how is the map generation? Two wood lines in front. It's open, but it's not extreme map. 
Are you are you liking guys the generations so far? I think the generations are fine. Good Arabias, not so close, not crazy open. I think they are fine. You know? Yeah, there's a pond, but it's not in the close to the main uh, wood lines. Okay, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, nice matches. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm happy too. Okay, the question is, no, I don't have the overlays updated. It will be updated automatically when the patch is out. Um, Mayans or Portuguese? What civilization do you, do you prefer, guys? I still think Mayans are Mayans, guys. Seriously. Mayans are Mayans, man. Mayans are Mayans. Two bullets at the back is fine. The birds are not too far. The goal is a little bit at the back, but this area is so open. So you have to protect this area. While Winchester has goal at the back, you wall here, you're fine. And the bear is, is not too far. So you put the buildings here and you are more than okay. And then I will wall like this. Okay. Did he send resources? What he did? Okay. Also, another good thing that we are testing the new patch is to see how the game is going if there's no issues so far the first two games it looks good i will ask also the players feedback hey how did you feel with the with the new with the new patch it's okay the pathing and everything how is all working yeah let's see anyway mbl has a spore completely pretty much do you see he knows that he's here when you see the carpet stone center goal at the back he see that this is wall and now Winchester? Can't see what? See the berries? See now the TC is there? And now he needs to find the woodlands. He see one, two woodlands. And now he's gonna try to find the goal. The goal is there. So he basically have also all the information. What are the players going to do here? I don't see yet any goal. He's doing another lumber camp. Remember that you get a uh, free wood here. And NBL need to win now with the Mayans or the so much is gonna be in danger for MBL for sure. Pinchester playing really well. MBL is starting to wall, and it makes sense. Mayans, Mayans are great. So you want to be safe with them and try to go for Castle Age. Because let's be honest, at this level and how good the players are. If isn't so difficult, like really, really difficult, guys, to to kill in Feudal Age. It feels so hard, right? Like really, really hard. He's going to stable. Uh, I'm surprised with the stable choice. Very surprised, actually. He went up super quick. And he's going to try and then MBL will just wall. Typical MBL walls. Absolutely everything. Double attacks. He has no resources. Gonna go now with the Eagle Scout and a Spear. Both. Remember that the Eagle Scout is very slow to be created. So very, very slow. And need to wall, man. Yeah, he's gonna wall. Now Winchester will wall as well. It will wall everything. Well, we'll see. I like it, obviously, that he has scores color, so he's doing good economy approach. MBL doesn't matter if the map is open, doesn't matter how it is. He's walling arena completely. Oh my goodness. Huge waller boy. Yeah, but with Mayans, he wants to be safe. You know, he knows that the opponent is coming with the scouts, mobility, and. Should Winchester dive in? No, because the house is there. I like it. Yeah, and now the next question is, what Vincente is going to do when he sees this approach? Archie range, wall, he's gonna wall. He's gonna try to protect and try to go full, full economy and try to go castle it as soon as possible. Oh boy. Oh, really boy. We'll see. It can do it. And you know what? Okay, he has the Archie range. It's needed. It's too risky to, to don't go with Archie range. Like, really hard. But, four scouts. Okay. 
and you need to wall. If it's not walling, big deal. He's going back now with the four scouts. You have to be careful. Is this open? No, that's wall, right? Yeah, everything is wall. Green is trying to attack, but it's going to be completely safe. Honestly, I think the players are just doing uh, the walls in a way that it wasn't doing before. Like, now they just want less greedy, just close to the resources and closer to the TCs. And that's it. That's why it's more complicated to attack in Feudal Age. Because the players, for example, they were doing before these walls. Or maybe these walls like this. You know, from the edge of the map to here. Now they just make small walls, buildings, you know? And look at here also. Yeah. It's it just one close to the TC. No shame. Compact base. Yeah, that's the right word. But now, Scouts and Skimmers is really good. It's a really good combination. You don't really have a counter to that with, with the Meso CP in Feudal Age. Definitely not. Because the Eagle is also produced super slow. So, with little army gear, with few Skimmers, you take the Spears and you dominate. You really dominate. Okay. Still going with the scout and the and it's gonna eventually he will clean this. I believe so. At home is still fine. And guys, I don't know what you think, but Winchester is playing so damn clean. This so much. Very, very clean. Really nice. Zero idle TC for both players. Well, one second. But his resources are looking smooth. Like really, really smooth. He has a lot of farms. As you can see. Defending with few skirmishes is not doing more army. And he's going to go castle age. And now my question is. What in castle age? I would love to see. I don't know what you think. But I would love to see the new organ guns. We need to see if they are stronger, weaker. What? Please. Winchester. Go organ guns. We need a castle. We need to see the, the new unit. Unique units, man. Both players are going to go up to Castleage. Okay. Blasmith. We'll click up. In a moment. Winchester is killing the spear. Yes, and now the skirmisher. Kill it. Got it. And he's on the way to Castleage as well. He's going to stay. Fuck. Sorry for telling this, guys. But I wanted to see the organ guns. Honestly, makes sense, right? Double stable, skirmishers, the knights are cheaper. He's playing safe, man. I mean, he's playing for the win, guys. Not for so win as uh, the new things, you know? Not at all. Okay, let's see now. Remember that Vincente has also picked Spanish, okay? Gotta be careful. And... Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. He's gonna go back. It's scouts and skirmishers. Castle H and plant lines. Well, just, he just need to kill the spear. The spears, man. What? Okay, he got it, but a little bit late. Nah, but he has good army now. This is the beauty of the Mayans. Lot of archers. He's trying to kill the eagles. He's gonna kill that spear. He's taking the spear. Got it. It's a good one. And now he's coming with the archers. A lot of archers, but it's double stable. And they are cheaper knights. Well, cheaper in terms of gold. It's not like Berbers, you know? But still, it's a good discount for... Portuguese. He has a very, very smooth economy. Look at the resources. Yeah, well, Mayans. Mayans. Also great. Okay. It's coming with full arches. Now crossbow. Bot Kinaro. Okay. And Winchester. Skill bar in armor. And bloodlines. Is this an oath? We will see. That tone center is great. Why? It's, it's defending the woodland. Oh, if you are going to attack behind this, well, you can go closer to the TC and you're fine. It's true that the goal is can't expose, but you cannot defend everything. Maybe it will be better. No, no, no. I like the I like the TC at the back. He is gonna make a house or not? Nah, he's gonna break it. Because green? Yeah. He's gonna break it. How many knights he need to defend this? He has seven archers here, two extra tone centers. The damn Mayans are sick. Now horse collar, bows as well. Need to send the knights. And with the knight's chain bard in armor, I think he's gonna 
Yeah, it's kind of gonna sandwich this and we'll, we'll dominate. Let's see the pathing. Let me go closer. I know that you want me to zoom in. Uh oh, eagle bye bye. I, I, I. Husbandry too. Eagle is down and all that army is going to be down actually. Yes, he got a lot and now he's gonna kill everything. I mean, he's trying to get a good spot to kind of block the knights, but it's not gonna happen. Like, he might kill some or not even. He'll look at the scout. Oh my god, what a clean up here by Winchester. He lost zero knights. Zero knights. Yeah, he lost zero knights. One double IT range, one barrack, two tone centers. Okay. This is a great tone center on the stone. We still have some hope. Maybe we see organ guns. I still don't think so, but you never know. This open? Nope. Both with the same village number. Now they're gonna boom? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, but Vincent has eight knights and build eight crossbows. If he's going and break in, he's in a big problem. He lost one knight? Okay, Osman Khan, you follow the channel to say that he lost one knight. Welcome to the channel, amigo. Welcome to the channel. All right. Okay, let's see the knights. I think he lost a scout, not a knight, but still. He's gonna take it. Got it. Starting to raid. This is the problem now with the knights. The mobility. It's gonna start to lose Villis. He take already three. Gonna take already three. Gonna take already four. Those knights are trapped. But they are doing the damage. And if you wall it now, you need just to kill more Villis. He's gonna take another one. And how many more? How many more, guys? And, and another, another one. one. Yes, he will. Got it. And another one here. He's already seven. And now killing army. What the hell? Is this worth it for Winchester, guys? He has killed seven villages. What do you think, guys? Now he's gonna lose all the knights. You know? But is this worth it? Well. It should be. But he has now no army. So if Ambil is now going... He has no army to defend, doing double archer range. What the hell? Is MBL coming with a forward castle? No. He's doing a castle in front. He's playing safe. It's still eight villages behind. Now on top of that hill. Will Barrow. He's ahead with the boom. Winchester. Nine villages, which is normal. He has killed seven. But Mayans are used very strong civilization. It's true that he has 30 farmers. 30 farmers, and that's why he's doing now the wheelbarrow. It's going to help a lot with the economy. And if he finds some hole, problems. Now he's doing the crossbow upgrade as well. Okay. I don't know if, that, if that's good, because you got zero arches while your opponent is 16. You will never catch up the numbers. I thought he was going to go skirmishes, maybe. Uh, I was wrong. And now? Uh-oh. Uh, he's going to walk. He's going to be fine. He should be fine. He's going to break in time. Uh, not really. He has the castle now. He sees so many crossbows. Like, really a lot of crossbows. Yeah, so many. But no ballistic. 700 gold. Balancing now the economy, MBL. Good. Was about to say that. So balance that gold and he did it. Doing another TC is TC number four. In this kind of situation is when now the mines start to become so dangerous. Why he's losing the night like this? Doesn't make sense. Anyway, more crops and botkin. And now it's going back because he's afraid. He's afraid that the knights can really do a lot of damage again. But you know the problem? Vincent is going to have a great economy composition. Sorry, Marty, uh, army composition. It's eight knights, seven crossbows. A Vinci is playing this so well, man. He's playing so smooth, man. He's playing so smooth. Really smooth. He has a great army. Doesn't have ballistic now. Not 
the numbers of is like like NBL, but with 10 nights already, what the hell? Maybe they think maybe they think that um maybe they think that the 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 the, the, the militias the is not that important? It's not that great? Maybe, right? I believe so. Anyway, we will see, guys. Ballistic for Winchester. Ballistic for Winchester. And now what? They are taking those. It's gonna kill it. Let's see how much. Oh my god. It's gonna take absolutely everything. So many knights. Like, really, really many knights. And the army from MBL is going to disappear. Winchester is playing so great. I say to him, if you guys win 4-0 to one of the other player, you are both, you will be banned for KOTD. I think um, if this is still going like this, maybe we have to ban someone. But guys, this is the beauty of the Mayans. Even like this, he's on the way to Imperial, guys. It's on the way to Imperial. Yeah, I don't know why he's going forward. He, 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 you don't do that with this civilization. He's doing another castle here. He's going up. He has 72 villages only. And uh, I've told you many times that the game, the players has evolved a lot. I know that NBL now is taking this super serious and practicing a lot. But to get there, it takes time. It's really not that easy. It's really not that easy. You know, remember, for example, when Jordan came back and when some of the players, if you are not constantly going it's like going to the gym like or all the things that you do in live right it's like kind of you lose the oh Winchester the building man yeah look his resources he's on the way to Imperial and now we're gonna have a castle here obviously it's gonna be up to Imperial faster but Winchester has a lot more villages an army he's still okay he's gonna go at least skirmishes and he's gonna go cavaliers we'll see are we gonna see some more Gangans? I would love to see them, but you we need to see a few of them to see if they really work properly. We'll see. I mean, Mayans are still so dangerous. Like, really dangerous. It's gonna go ballistic, but let's see MBL here. He doesn't see the castle. He has one minute and 30 seconds. Oh boy. Still have the same army, both players. And he's gonna be an Imperial. Relics, not taken. He's exploring now, but he's one relic, two relics, three relics. He could take three relics easily, man. What the hell? Anyway, blue marches are going with Ballistic. Guys, Winchester is playing open. He's playing open. Resources crazy. I know the castle here. Mayans are Mayans for a good reason, remember. Mayans are Mayans for a good reason. And now he's gonna raid with the blue marches. He has something here to defend? No. Check Winchester resources. They are sick. They are really good. But he's not in Imperial yet. And that can be a problem. Obviously, Winchester need to make some raid with the Knights. And he will, I believe. Okay. He's trying there's Plume Arches taking a value here. And now let's see Winchester how many villages he's gonna lose. Because population is basically the same now. Oh my god. All those arches to the damn hell. The skimmers is are helping a lot. They do. They really do. But he's still losing villages. Yeah. And more. 7-4, so he's getting closer, but he's still not attacking the castle. And remember, these resources, man. What the hell? Ooh! Ay, ay, ay! MBL! The holes! And he do not know this MBL! That reaction was a slow, was really a slow. Check the Echo KD right now, pretty sick. Coming out with the traps, these three traps, which I think Vincenter will need bomber cannons and more important even, probably Cavaliers at the end. Mayans are Mayans, guys. Mayans are Mayans, look at the score. Even with that, the score is not so far. Vincenter does have a lot of army, does have a lot of army. So it's not easy, it's really not easy, but with Bomber Cannons and Skirmishers, 
All this army from MBL might be in the damn hell. He's not doing Fightorias, but he could do it. Are we gonna see Fightorias on Arabia? Well, it's possible. There's always a possibility. It's still raiding. Very annoying. Plus three and chemistry. Now the castle is gonna be bye-bye. He's sending the skirmishes. He is. But he does have economy to go Eagles. Eagles here will dominate a lot. Bomber cannons and skirms are gonna be completely fine here. But guys, MBL come with the stone to make another castle. The score is still getting closer. Population is even closer as well. Look at now the skirmishes. Plus four. Fully upgraded. Not abraded. Those blue marchers might have some problems against the skimmers is fully abraded. They are dying, guys, because those plumes need upgrades. Oh my god. The bomber cannons is gonna take everything. Winchester is taking a lot. MBL don't have the army. He need to make the castle at the back. And now with the bomber cannons and the traps, if he micro them, I I I he's gonna take everything. Yes, Winchester playing really, really well. Really well. His economy is also great. And now, what is he going to do? Because MBL has no economy at all. No economy at all. Bomber cannons there. He cannot make eagles. And he's just there. Can win the game with bomber cannons and traps? And skirmishers? Oh boy. Oh really boy. He does have a stone. So he... Did he upgrade a conscription? He's not losing anything. But he has three castles, MBL. In the meanwhile, he can make more farms. He has resources, so he's gonna come with eagles or not. But guys, if he's coming with eagles now, Winchester, so smart, taking now the, bo the trebuchet, got it. Oh my God, he lose a bomber cannon, okay. But what is he doing now, Winchester? Hand cannoneers, guys. So, if now he's coming, and look at this castle, an amazing one to protect this area, and then just make the upgrade. He want to make arquebus, guys. Archibus is gun power units with ballistic. And that's insane. Really insane. The score is still growing and growing. MBL still have. Uh, castle at the back, three tone centers, 118 villages, but is unable to match up this army. It's unable, man. Really, really unable. It's crazy. Vincent is playing amazing. Seriously. Like, quite some time we didn't see him play like this. Yeah, no mistakes. No mistakes. Controlling these, taking the castle, taking the tray, which is coming with the bomber cannons, played by the armor, and now light caps. Look at the score 173 population, and Winchester is in a total domination mode activated right now. Yeah. Sick. Really sick. Really, really sick. Eagle Warrior plus two. Yes, that's gonna help, but not a lot when the hand cannoneers are there. And he has lost all the three castles. MBL is still with 143 population. Blue March is coming. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Yeah, he's gonna have a lot of barracks. A lot of barracks. And this is now elite eagle warrior. All right. They are more expensive now. So it's gonna matter. Relics, no relics taken, which is not great. Obviously this army, don't have the mobility. So if MBL mass good amount of eagles, he can kill a lot. We'll see. Arkebus, man. Arkebus. Oh my lord. And he's going by with the plumes? What is this? Why? Market now. He has still only 23 farmers. Arkebus is insane because he's affect the bomber cannon, but the hand cannon is as well. So if the eagles are coming and they move, it's gonna take even easier those eagles. This is insane. It's insane. A score difference, 3,000 score difference. 3,000 score difference. Taking the archery range is now going for the hill. This is the last castle. El Dorado, you need to need to repair the castle. He's doing El Dorado with that castle. Repair, you got village on inside. I mean, 100 HP eagles, yes. But he's still eagles plus two. They are not even plus four, guys. I think... He's gonna lose them all. If he just proper, properly, might lose them all. Them all. Let's see the micro. Let's see the micro. He's gonna use the bomber cannons or not? Okay. He's so many plumes and so many eagles. Winchester is not microing now, but he got the skirmishes. The hand cannon is. The bomber cannon is gonna be gone. Let's see this. This attack. It might be the last attack of the game. 
And the hand cannoneers are just doing the job. They are doing great. Actually, nah. He's killing everything, guys. He's killing everything. Nothing to do. Cavaliers as well. GG call. 3 Cedo. 97 APM. 74. Oof. Winchester playing insane. Remember, both players... Both players, guys, uh, finalists in the last two King of the Desert edition. Vincent in KOTD4, NBL KOTD3. But in these first three games, oof. Vincent in another level. 22 army more, economy, 8,000 resources more as well. 8K resources more. Playing really, really smooth. Let's see what happened now in game number four. We got it, guys. We got it, and we see a Spanish civilization. Let's go. Byzantines, MBL, Winchester, Spanish. Why he pick a Spanish? Because when you make the loop, now you get 20 gold, you know, for free, you know? Yeah, man. That's basically what they get. Green MBL? Yeah. Okay, let's see the map. How is the map? Well, three wood lines. It's, I will say, far from the TC, those two. The other one is closer. Gold at the back, stone in front, berries in front as well. And a small crater here. Gold in some of the hill. You see different generations. Desertical, but three wood lines as well with some hills. This is remind me a little bit more to the KOTD4, but not that huge elevations. A little bit harder, but I don't want the cliffs. The cliffs just help to wall, and it's not needed. You know? Cliffs, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, MBL has Byzantines. It's a very good civilization. But I'm very curious to see what Winchester is going to do with the Spanish. You know? I like this. This is one of the change in the patch. But we still didn't see yet any infantry. People is, is thinking that we're going to see a lot. And time will say, you know. <laughs> it's very difficult still to, ki to kill with infantry because you can wall. And also you can still do archers, you know. And with some walls, if you mass archers at the end, infantry will die or not. Okay. Yeah, it's a discount for Spanish for sure with the goal. But for lately, aggression can work. Four villages on wood. Three villages. So, he's gonna go men at arms. Okay. Okay, he's gonna make the barrack. And I'm gonna bring the, the rhino. One, two, three houses, okay. He's doing the militias already. He didn't make the loom yet. I'm very curious to see what happened when he's doing the loom. When he's doing the loom, he will get 20 gold, I believe. He's not doing yet, so both are doing the militias. No, not both. He don't even have the barrack. What the hell? Okay. The militias are coming. And he's doing the militias now. The barrack now, sorry. 
He has to really be careful. That he has the loom? Yes. So, shouldn't be a problem. Melissa's are going around because he's going to the lumber camp. He might think that, yeah, the berries might be wall. Let's go to the, the lumber camp. Byzantines don't have tone watching Dark Age. Remember that these come, that beautiful Aberdeen village, of course, for free. And now he's there already. Three the list. But well, he's being annoying. And now the loom, guys. Check the loom. It might get now 30 gold. Then. He got it. And he's up, guys. This is so smooth play, man. This is so, so smooth play. He killed a village and he's on the way to feudal age. So, the thing here is... Winchester is up faster than his opponent. He did the malicious faster. Now he's doing the malicious MBL. He lost already a belly and he's gonna lose another one. Oh my god. He's gonna take it or not? No, he didn't. He saved it now. Okay. But he's creating chaos. He lost the scout. Almost kill it. So what is he gonna do now? He's gonna go scouts. To be honest, with the, the approach Winchester did right now. He didn't do too, I mean, any difference, you know? Because he didn't go for Men at Arm. He's not going to say make another Militia. So what is he going to do now? Another thing here is, if you get double Vitas and Horse Collar, you also get 20 gold each. So it will be now 40 more. So it's 70 gold, okay? But why he's not wall here? I don't know, man. Typical Winchester, guys. Typical Winchester is going to lose that Valir. And he's going to now take the Militia here. He's gonna take, take another, he's gonna pass. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. He won it now, and he's gonna take it. Hala Madrid won yeah. Ardemars. Okay. Thank you so much. Now he palisade this, and well, he lost only a Belier. And now? Uh oh, he's gonna open. He's gonna open RTD range. And look at now the upgrades. He doesn't need the goal to make archers. You do have gold now? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You don't mind gold and you can, you can do archers. All right. He's going to make a tower. I like it. MBL finally being MBL. Coming aggressive. Archie range and tower. This is what we want to see. Come on. Yeah. And without mine? Okay. Yeah, but... I mean, it's a little bit of gold, but that's nothing huge. You know? Well, the gold bonus is related to... To, to the to the civilization, the Spanish has bonus with the trade. All the upgrades on with the blast don't cost gold, so it's a civilization that is supposed to be benefit on that regard, because everyone knows that Spain, as a country, is a great economy. So we get gold, money, euros, everything, you know. And this is what the devs are doing. And now he's in problems. He's in real problems. Yeah. Everyone knows, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's walling. Like crazy, Winchester. But he's in now problems. MBL, why 44 seconds IDLTC? That's a lot. There's really a lot. Okay. But now he's walling. Remember, faster buildings. You know? Faster buildings. Yes. And what is Winchester now doing? It's still open here. He forgot that Valir. He's doing his skirms. He will need a tower probably here. But guys, he has no stone. So this walls by, by Vinch. Oh! So unlucky, man. Really unlucky. Didn't see the stone here. My goodness. Well, that's important. Because if you explore properly, you wall like this and use the cliff. He didn't explore. That's the big deal. Yeah. And now Vincente is going for economy approach. Farming a lot. Ambil farming a lot too. Okay. And we'll see. He's doing the Tone Watch. I mean, obviously, Byzantine is still better civilization. Also, they have nerfed a little bit the Kong, so... He's doing a stable now. All right. He's gonna go Scouts probably now. What else? Right? What else? Yeah, he's coming with the tower. And he can see the Belir. 
Why was why is he that much? That he has Stonewatch? Uh, Winchester? Probably. Look at the tower. He's, he's a strong one. A annoying one. He should do a counter tower. He's gonna send Belize, man, to kill that one. He's gonna send Belize and the skirmishes. Let's see now the scouts as well. What he's not expecting is the scouts. So... Yeah, he's going back. And now the scouts are coming. He's gonna take the tower. He has another armor cam at the back. I like it. I really do. Okay. The militia is being annoying. He's taking a lot of damage from those from that scout. Well, not that much. And now militia is gonna be gone. And now the village is probably going to be gone. Whoa. Well, he cleaned everything now. Billy is gonna be down. He's killing all the skimmers. Look at that micro. Look at that micro. Aye, aye, aye. Well, Billy down. And only one Billy difference. Killing all the units. Which is the 11 9. And take his damn resources again. Well, he has no gold. Okay. But he has a good echo. A really nice echo. It's not that MBL is so far behind. Definitely not. But still. And no fletching. They are trying to go now fast castle. But my question is, if they go fast castle, what's he's gonna do with the Spanish? Now Will Barrow and with Will Barrow, another 20 gold. Let's go, baby. Okay. Why he's not sending the scouts? I don't know. He should try to kill the spears. Come with the scouts. With both. He's trying to micro and micro really well. If he killed the spears, now he will clean all. Oh, baby. Why he's not sending the scouts? Guys, do you understand why he's not sending the scouts? But he's microing much better, man. What's going on? Well, better. Just a little bit better. Not much better. Don't be exaggerated. Resources are great. Another 20 gold. And now... Yeah, another 20 gold extra. He's working his booth. He's working his move. Oh. Yeah, it's not like 20 gold is a lot, but you know, if you start to add, to add, and to add, well, it's 20 gold here and there, and guys, he's on the way to castle. It's faster than his opponent. There's only one problem for Winchester here. He didn't find the stone, and right now he controlled this area. But guys, I think Winchester is just gonna make the oldest table. The problem is that Byzantine can't go camels. And, uh,. Oh boy. Yeah, but he has the momentum, man. He has scored Cola, he has Will Barrow, he's doing the gold minor arbit. I know the 20 gold more. Now this is a stable forward. Right? Yes, it is. Still open here. But the guys, they never check to the edge of the map. He's gonna wall like this. When he can't use wall like so easily. Like seriously, man. Oh man. Anyway, we'll see. Bloodlines. Remember, if he's doing now a skill bar in armor, chain bar in armor doesn't cost gold. We forgot about this armor, but this is not new. This is always for a Spanish like this. And now he's gonna make a tower here. It matters. Well, it's annoying. I wouldn't make a counter tower. I would just make TCs at the back. And then maybe delete two farmers or even a tone center here. And then you take it. I don't know. We'll see. I think just deleting the two farmers is fine. Oh. That tower is more annoying. Yeah, I like what MBL is doing. A much better tower here. But this is still not gonna do it. Yeah, is it still? I think he's feeling that he's gonna be able to clean this. Yeah, I like it. He's gonna go with village. He will delete the house or the palisade or whatever and going with the knights. Yeah. Okay, scouts coming. Aye, aye, aye. He's deleting the house, coming with those valleys. The knights are coming, he got the spears, he's playing great. Delete the barrack then even. No, it's too much. Delete the barrack is kinda stupid, but no, he's going back now. Oh my god. Vichester is dominating, guys. It is dominating. It, it feels so confident, man. I mean, he has good resources, the MBL, but now doing the monastery. It's only one stable, right? Yeah, one stable knight. And with the monks, you convert the camels. So you are fine. And that tower, in the damn hell. Also, he's doing the spears. Good combination. Oh my god, he found it. 
He founded that tone center, sick tone center. Playing really smooth, guys. Really, really smooth, Winchester. Like, really, really smooth. I don't know what you think, but that's really smooth gameplay. Hand card now. Okay. Remember, guys, that after this series, I would love that we see more games, but it's playing so smooth. We're going to jump right away in the Rage Forest tournament. Okay, guys? So, we are going to keep going with the Rage Forest tournament right away after this series, okay? I hope that you are fine with that. <laughs> okay, let's see now. He has the camels, but he has the spears and knights. He got the monks too. So with the monks, he's fine. But he has monks as well, and now he has the heal advantage. He's going to convert. He has to be careful. The good thing with the camels here from MBL is that they are cheaper. He is still on one TC. More village, but no will barrow. So pretty much, man, hand cart already for, for Winchester. I didn't even notice that. What the hell? Is he going to convert now? The knight? Winchester? Sleeping? He's sleeping, man. He's converting uh, now one knight, but now he's going to convert the other. No, he delete. And now, the camels? He's doing more spears. Feel confident, man. He feel confident. My goodness. Now he's mining a lot of stone. Three TCs with a crazy economy. Crazy economy for Winchester. Just look at the upgrades. It's like if he's playing with Burgundians. He has all the economy upgrades right now. Three villains behind only. And three TCs already while MBL is still on one tone center. Well, it's clear what MBL need here. Pray. You know? But if he's spamming a lot of farming, is the, is the way to go probably now. But he has monks. So many monks, actually. Aye, aye, aye. Then MBL need to make a Thonemen? Well, he has only two monks. Yeah, with monks, Vincent is fine. He's gonna make the market now. And soon, Winchester will do a castle here. Yeah, in that area. He's mining a lot of stone. It's a great economy going. Sick echo. He got a lot of camels. A Thornament as well. Nice. I like it. It's an aggressive approach. But can you kill with camels? Camels are not great to raid. Yeah, he should just buy a stone now. And we'll drop a castle. He's doing that. He has no goal. Aye, aye, aye. Now he's gonna take it and... He's gonna make the castle here. Winchester. Okay. It's not about castle, right, guys? It's definitely not about castle. And Green gonna see it. He see the monks. He see the camels. He's gonna convert maybe some village. Who cares? He got the knights at the back. Okay. And then he can go with the monks. He convert one. And what he's going to do, he delete it. He's going to convert the camels. He's playing just so smart. He's 10 villains ahead already. He got the castle here. And the only chance for MBL is to go fast Imperial. He's the only chance. If not, he's dead. Absolutely dead. Right? Well, but with Byzantines, you can go fast Imp. He's doing a second tone center, which is fine. He has the buildings to go up. And you only need 600 foot or something, right? Yeah, he's going to wall. Stone walls here. Okay. But he has to wall more. Okay. Complicated. The monks are coming. He's gonna convert few villages, but he's doing now conks. He's doing some conks. He's starting to spam farms. Oh, we convert some villages. Okay. Two villages actually. Three villages. What the hell? Okay. The village lost the speed, guys. The village has 0 0.97, and when they are converted, they are slower. 0 0.88. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Is that intended? Uh, maybe. Anyway, he's going to convert now the village, and now he's going to delete them all. So, the next one is going to be another castle here, probably. Right? It's possible. But guys, knights are coming. Need to go away. He took a village. He's doing three TCs. 17 villages more. But the conks with so many monks and camels there. No, no, no. It's too many. It's really too many. He need a lot more conks to kill. Remember that they have got uh, nerf a little. A little bit. Where's the castle now? He has a stone. In that spot. Menstradamus on fire. 
It was expected. Yeah. With that castle here, he cannot attack anymore. And the good thing here is that Vincent has an incredible economy. A really, really amazing echo. So, if my name Winchester is going to reach Imperial faster than MBL, then what? That would be a disaster, to be honest. Well, it's true that that TC is not protected. Because the castle is protecting this one, this area, and now this, this other castle is protecting the other TC and the farmers. But, well, he can do damage on the town center. Fletching. Yeah, the castle can help. With Fletching? Not really. It's too far. But the Kongs are coming. This can be a disaster, man. He's taking the Mind Guardian. All right. They are so fast, man. Four tone center now for MBL. He's going to kill the monks. One. Two. And now going back. Well, he killed one. But it's still worthy. Oh, converted another. That's nice. But now he can kill them. No, he cannot. There is a lot of camels. There is a lot of camels. But Micro Man. Aye, aye, aye. And now where's the Mangonels? In the hell. Check his resources. But MBL is about to go up to Imperial. Yes. He will. Oh. He's up to Imperial, man. He's up to Imperial. And you know what, what Vincent need to do? How about Deers? I mean, he's doing Husband, so he's going to go full Kongs, maybe. But if he just go Halves, MBL die. What? What is he doing? 17 villains in the queue! Mekawa and La Leche go to Imperial, man! 17 villains in the queue! You, you got to be crazy, man! 20 villains in the queue, man! Go to Imperial, man! What the hell? Go up, man! Go to Imp! What the hell? Are you... Are you for real? What's going on? Oh, the missionary also seven range. They get more range now. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 impossible, right? I mean, MBL is not clicking up to M. Five tone centers, but with less villains than Winchester with three TCs. That's crazy. He converted. Okay. Now he's committing a lot, but he's taking all the monks. He's killing. Ooh. Okay. But he convert again, he lost it, and he convert a camel. He's gonna kill the mango? I think he will. Oh, he didn't. That's good. That's good. The score is still similar. And guys, MBL is... Now he's up to Imperial. My goodness. My real goodness. Okay. We have the Kongs. We have the Monks as well. Let's see. He's doing the castle in the middle of the map. He's seen Imperial chain bar in armor. Remember that Byzantines are crazy. And now look. 103 villages. Obviously, with so many TCs, you catch up. And Byzantine's army is insane. What is now going to do? He's going to go Khazars? 42 farmers. That's the good thing. He's doing all the military abilities. He's still 1,000 score ahead. The timing and the momentum. But MBL ahead in population. Yeah, if one civilization can come back, so be Byzantine's. But let's see. He's taking a few villages now. He's going to raid a little. Because he's raiding with the light caps. And now... He's ready with the Kongs at the same time. Very good. Really, really good. He's going to wall this area. Well, it's open. He's still open. Now University. What is he going to do? Played Bard and Armor. He's going to go Khazars. Like 100%. 45 farmers. He can go Camels. But Khazars is still very strong, right? They do. They are very strong. He's going to do more mocks or not? I don't know, to be honest. He's ready, guys. He's being annoying. He has no more villains than his opponent, but MBL more army. Is he wall completely or not? It's open, man. What the hell? Oh, good trap. Very nice. Quick walls. Very nice quick walls. Still coming with the camels. Population is still ahead for MBL. Playing nice now. Very nice. Spamming army. Let's see those camels. He's gonna take those villains. He's taking few. I'm just to do not notice now. But here what? The Kongs? The monks is going to convert? Man, 
Not even converting. Those coins are so tanky. Really tanky. All right. And a castle with one valley disrespect. One valley castle on that area is disrespectful, man. Seriously. Anyway. Population almost the same. Now with chemistry, we'll go bomber cannons. Remember that the monks, the Spanish monks, can do anything. He's still doing conquistadors, man. He's spamming conks. The light has R plus four, not doing hazards. But if you have hazards and conks, I'm thinking about how to stop that. And I'm not finding an answer. I, I don't find an answer, guys. Really. What the hell? Like, camels? Well, so many Kongs, man. So many Kongs. And now the light caps are gonna take the trap. No, so many camels as well. Remember Byzantine cast? Oh. He will kill it? No, no. It's so many camels, man. And it's heavy camels. I like it. But those heavy camels are plus one. Now he's coming with so many. He has the monks. He's gonna be able to do the job. Look at the spot. The spot is great. Well, I mean, if he's good. Those conks hit him back, hit him back, hit him back. He's converting one. The trebuchets are going to go down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, MBL has now a huge amount of army. He's doing supremacy. All right. And he needs halves. He just needs halves. I told you. How about this, man? He got so many, so many resources still, Winchester. So let's see what MBL can do here with trebuchet and a lot of camels. All right. He's gonna be able to do the job or not? Still a lot of conks, elite conquistadors. And now, spamming barracks, spamming Obamas. Oh boy. Oh really boy, he's doing now the barracks. Yes, he will do the helps. He could have done earlier, but still. Stable here, he's gonna raid with the light caps. That's solid. Solid and annoying. Yeah. Pikes, right now, is still zero upgrades. Well, only forging. Okay. And now at least skirmishes. At least skirmishes don't do anything. Don't do anything right now. They don't do anything to the conks. And they don't do anything basically almost to the halves. That's crazy. Halvard did upgrade. Halvard did upgrade. Maybe he needed halves too, MBL. I don't know. It's, it's just crazy. But it really looks like bitches that know exactly what to want to do in every single game. You know? And MBL keep trying and trying, but he's unable to do the job. Yeah, he's gonna kill now many villages. Those Kongs are so tanky. He's gonna go with the camels, yes. But when he's going with the camels there and try to come here, then Winchester, we have the halberdiers. We have all the halberdiers, my goodness. Okay. He's gonna take those. Oh, look at those, man. Oh, boy. He has to be careful. Yeah, look at this. Every hit is one down, but he has so many. That's the good thing. But now, he's sending some halves. And if he's just going back with the halves, we'll dominate. The halves will kill a lot. I mean, the halves eat the camels. And let's see if the, if the halves are going to help. Ooh. Well, the halves definitely help. They do, man. They do. They have to disappear now. It's going away, man. It's going away. Really away. He's killing all the buildings, but there's more traps. He's trying to come forward, take the university. Doing the plus two attack, remember. With all these upgrades, well, a little bit more gold. And MBL, three relics, Vinci's the two relics. The score is still not too far. Population, not too far either. What? All these battles with the camels without the plus four? You gotta be kidding me. No, man. Oh, baby. Well, he's going away now. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Anyway. More Kongs and Halvardi is coming. Look at the population now. Look at the military. 200 population. And ladies and gentlemen, Winchester is winning 4 0, man. I mean, he has the map control now. He has a stone to make another castle. Remember that his village got supremacy. And what MBL can do now, guys? What the hell? I mean, he still has army. And population is almost the same. But I don't know what he can do. Check Finchester resources. My goodness. I mean, are you for real? Use a castle here. Come with the villages, man. He got... Yeah. Six out of the villages. Just come and make a castle. It's not doing. Let's see. Camels and skirmishes, guys. Yeah, Finchester looking solid. 
like very very solid we don't see so often Spanish in Arabia which is very nice to see them and uh, dominate him, man. What the hell? Well, the Bomber Cano is taking the threat. Now he's coming with more, but he just need to send helps. More helps. His resources are crazy. Why he doesn't have like 40 helps right now? Well, I don't know. But he could do it. And the Bomber Cano's are there. Yeah, the Bomber Cano's are killing the threat. Take it. Oh my God. Remember that the Bomber Cano's from Spanish. Another one down. The Bomber Cano's from Spanish. Did they attack faster? They just attack faster. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yes, there's some raid, but it seems to have the game under control. Even if the population is pretty much the same. Beachester, disrespectful castle. Taking all the buildings with that castle. All the buildings, man. Oh, boy. Botkin Arrow only costs food, remember? No gold, and now you get also 20 gold more. 2,000 gold. More halberdiers. 190 population, 182. He is still with good population, but I really believe that Halbs here, it was even better than Camels for, for MBL. In my opinion, you know? Yeah, maybe Halbs and Arbalest is a better choice, guys. What do you think? Or, or, or nothing against this combination from Winchester. 200 population, he keep going. And BL is trying, he's a warrior and he doesn't want to lose 4 0, but it looks like it is. It looks like it is. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, those camels are solid, as you can see. And the, the good thing for MBL is that Vichester, for some reason, that I don't understand, he does have halves or not the nose. The hubs are not fully upgraded either, but those conks, they're so tanky, man. They never die. Oh, my God. They just don't die. And all the castle here. What the hell? He need to go and kill the traps. Is the only problem he has. And now those camels and all the castle here taking all the map. And, uh, well, I don't know. I, I love what MBL is doing, but it seems that he can't. He just can't kill it. He has all the map control. Look at the castles, taking more resources. And BL has three relics, yes, but the bomber cannons are coming, and when he killed those traps, he's even ready now. Oh boy. It's pretty sick, guys. Pretty sick gameplay. And look at now the bomber cannons. Taking the traps, guys. Taking the traps. Oh man. Trebuchet it down. Another suit? Vamos! Miss Connie Badger, thank you for the 15 moons. Well, more Kongs and Bomber Cannons, still with good population MBL. He can spawn forever with Byzantines, but I think he needs halves. 60 farmers. 60 farmers. There's some camels at home. I mean, even with halves, what really can do? Maybe halves and monks, guys? I know that it sounds ridiculous maybe on, on Arabia, but with the monks you can convert. Well, it seems to be the only choice to stop the conks. Light is coming. This is open. This is open. Our chop. Everything is open. Kassar's open. Good reaction by MBL. I don't want to check. All right, and those Lycas with the bomber cannons has to be careful there. Yeah, he's raiding a lot here. Now the Kongs, he's still coming. He's still MBL have good army. 49 army, 47. Now doing ballistic for the castles. Still missing the plus 4 for the halves. I don't know why he's not doing. Well, he forgot, obviously. And now ready more and more. Guys, it's impossible. The score is starting to, to explode right now. Four villages of wood. We still have some farmers. But Winchester is not giving a single chance to MBL in these cities. What the hell? And he has been traveling, you know? He has been not practicing Winchester that much. What the hell? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds really good. For him, not for MBL. But it's still time for the tournament. 
Another castle on his face, and maybe when he see that castle, he might call it. He has no map control at all. Siege rams already. He's killing all with the Kongs. He should go halberdiers. I insist. More halves. And Bial is still selling resources to get some gold. Because he got none. Okay, this castle is gonna be down. I like it. I mean, he need this area. He need the resources. Now he's moving back. Okay. Population is still very strong. 180 population. But I, I still miss the house, you know? I still miss the house. Still, he's gonna recover this area, which is very good. Gold and stone. The castle is gonna be down. He's killing the village that he's repairing. But in this area, how are you gonna stop this? Uh, I don't know. He still have more army than Winchester, which is crazy. A lot more, uh, actually. At least in numbers. Are they better or not? Oh, he's gonna kill those. Today we with the villiers. Well, seems he's gonna lose them, maybe. He's gonna kill one trap. Got it. My goodness, those. But he still lost the castle. And here, he's gonna lose his base. But let's see, he's moving. Doing more archery ranges, 43 farmers. He's gonna take the gold. This is classic MBL, guys. Classic MBL. He tried forever. And he's still holding with 200 population. I don't know how. He is still able to have 200 population. Get crazy. 38 camels. 38 camels is still. What the hell? 38 camels. My goodness. Okay. Still 200 population with almost no room. And now, Trebuchet and Camel is gonna try to kill the, those rams. Try to kill the castles as well. But he's gonna lose that castle. He has Camels and all to kill the bomber. No! Yeah, he's going back now. Okay. Don't leave four, five bomber cannons lonely, my goodness. Yeah, now Vincent with more army than his opponent. Doing light caps, trying to kill those. Sending Halvard. This is crazy game. Crazy game, bitch. NBL trying everything, but those conquistadors just don't die. He still have two bomber cannons alive, and in this area, with the hands on the light caps, oh boy. Oh, really, boy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the. <laughs> Look at the TC he's doing. Oh my lord. The TC just to save those well as well is what it is. He need to kill those traps. Still ready now, but he still have camels. But for how long? That's the problem, right? That's the problem. Did you expect guys a 4-0? I didn't, to be honest. And with the motivation that he seems to have an MBL, I hope that he's not gonna get, uh, you know, too down for this. Vincent is an insane player, we all know, but obviously a 4-0 like this, kinda hard. Well, but he's playing a lot lately, MBL. But, well, it seems that Winchester is just better with the decision, right? And the, the execution is being so clean with the with the boom, with the economy. Still, guys, MBL, 200 pop, huh? 200 pop. I don't know how, but 200 pop. It's true that, I mean, skirmishes are doing something here. They don't do anything. They, they just don't do anything. Really. Like, what the skirmishes are doing here? They don't do anything, guys. He has no Khazars. He's doing uh, everything. Hordings, Masonry, all the upgrades. Okay. Well, more than would be good. He has some wood. Yeah, look how hard it is to kill the Byzantines, guys. How difficult it is to kill those... Byzantine castles, 7,000 HP, you have to be careful. I still think that you need 30 halberdiers. He has no halves, uh, Winchester. But now he's losing all the camels, he didn't even notice, oh my god. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Vincente also struggling the goal. 74 farmers, but 50 farmers with this situation. Obviously, there is no map control. Like, he has no map, and it's about time. Like, MBL is still have a lot of population, but he has no way to come back, because to come back in this kind of game, you need to raid your opponent. Is he raiding his opponent, guys? Do you remember a, a single raid 
from MBL to Winchester in the last, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Difficult, guys. Very difficult. The castle is gonna be down. There's no stone for MBL. There's no gold. Seed on a gold. Seed on a stone. Use the three relics. And ladies and gentlemen, 38 skirmishes in the queue. Yes, but the skirms don't kill the Kongs. Don't kill the Kongs. Okay. Gonna go with the Khazars. Gonna go with the Halvardiers. And... Yeah, he's doing now the barracks, but he's doing the spears, guys. Spear rash. I, I, I. Spear rash. He's like Flemish militias, right? Anyway, guys, the so much is about to finish. We're gonna see a four seed for Winchester. Very, very good positive notes. Well, the the, the patch worked well. No issues. All good. The map generations, I think, has been really well, and Winchester. 4 Zito. Oof. Oof. Very well played, man. Really, really well played by, by Winchester. Statistics, military. You can see, guys. Winchester with the most kills economy was an insane economy lead. And well, overall, he played really, really smooth. Really clean. Really clean. And if you watch this on YouTube, guys, don't forget to thumb up, subscribe, and leave a commentary. It helps a lot.